Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll check one more Python program to find whether the given number is desirium number or not. First, let us see what is this desirium number and how can we find it and then we'll go with the programming logic. So desirium number. So a number is said to be the desirium number when the sum of its digits, the individual digits raised to the power of their respective positions, respective positions is equal to given number, then we can call it as a desirium number, right? Some of digits raise it to the power of their respective positions is equal to the given number. So example, let me tell you an example so that you will, you will be understanding more, right? So let us take an example as 989. So the position of 9 is 2 and position of 8 is 1, right? So this is the positions. This is the first position. This is the second position, right? Now we need to find the sum of digits raise it to its positions right power of its position power of its positions now eight see for better understanding i'm writing this one power of uh, eight with one plus power of uh, nine with a two that means See, 8 power 1, 8 plus 9 square, that's 81. So, which is, is equal to 89. So, our given number is 89 and we are finding the position of 8 and we are finding the position of 9. And then we are just adding those powers. So, 8 power 1 because eight, the position of 8 is 1. So, 8 power 1. The position of 9 is 2. So, we need to find 9 power 2. So we need to sum these two things so that we have to get the given number. So if we get the same number, then we call it as a desirium number, right? Now we'll go with the programming logic. So first, let us take the input number. So for taking the input number, consider n is equal to int of input enter number. So consider one temporary number. I'll go with the temporary number because we need to uh, identify the positions first and then we have to find out the powers. We need to uh, modify the n value. So, and again, finally, we have to compare with the same number. So that's why I am just giving one temporary variable and I am assigning the same number to that particular temporary variable. Now, first, find the finding positions. So in order to find the position, simply we can go with the uh, uh, length of the digits okay length of the number so for that just uh, you can observe so let's take the while loop and i will go with a temporary uh, greater than zero so simply you can use uh, temporary is equal to temp mod 10 so that we'll get an individual digit so so we can simply count count the iteration right so how many iterations it will be counting so that will be the number of digits Okay, we'll get the number of digits, for example. Uh, before that, we have to initialize a count is equal to zero. And see, if I print the count, if I print the count, you can observe, execute some 89. So the count is two, right? And if it is 104, the count is three. So this is the logic we are writing to find the positions. That means the length. If you got the length, you can observe here three, the count is three. We can simply say 4 is the third position, 0 is the second position, and 1 is the first position. So we can decrement the individual number. We can find the individual digit, and we can power with the this particular count, and we can decrease the count value. So after completion of this loop, we'll get the length. 
now again i will go with the one more uh, thing so i will write some uh, one more value x is equal to n i will uh, now we'll we will find the individual digits right so y x greater than 0 you can simply use the reminder okay reminder is equal to some x mod 10 so that we'll get the individual digit okay we can get the individual digit so this is for individual digit so individual digit right so next we have to find the sum sum is equal to sum plus we need to find the power right so power means the digit power so reminder power operator exponential operator and the position what's the position of the ones position that is the th third position so if you get x mod 10 for example for example so if you take 89 the count here the count value is 2 so if you apply the mod operator with a 10 we'll get the value as 9 so 9 is at second position right so 9 is at second position now you can simply go with the uh, count and simply uh, after that uh, you can you have to reduce the value so x is equal to x floor division 10 so it will be reduced at one digit right if it is three digits now it will be two digits and now we need to reduce the count count is equal to count minus one so before going to that we are applying the sum so simply give the sum value as zero initial sum value as zero so finally we'll get the sum and if you check this sum is equal to is equal to n simply we can print it as n is a desirium number right and if not if not that means a false case if, if it is doesn't matches simply we can say n is not a desirium number so you now you can check so if you give 89 so 89 is a desirium number because because so here we got the count as 2 okay so here simply you can print uh, after this one so print you can write it here so count is equal to so 89 so count is equal to 2 okay count is equal to 2 and then now here we are giving the individual digit and here the reminder into count and here we are reducing the count value so we will get the uh, if you uh, apply this mod operator we'll get the ones position that is the final count right so we have to reduce the count one by one if it is a three digit number the count will be three and after that uh, in this position we are reducing the number to the two digit right so two digit now the position will be count minus one that is two and next one one digit and the position is one so that's why we are using this count okay we are decrementing the count and you can observe here so uh, 124 is not a desirium number which is not a desirium number so like this we can find the count. so one more example we can go with a 135 so 135 is a desirium number because of 5 5 cube 125 3 square 9 9 plus 125 okay so here you can observe the position of one is one and position of three is two and position of five is three and here you can see power of 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 and here the power of 3 comma 2 because the position of 3 is 2 and here the power of 5 comma 3 so here you can see the power of 1 power 1 1 3 square 3 square 3 square means it's 9 and now 5 cube it is 125 so you can you can add 125 plus 9 it's 134 plus 1 135 so the same number 
we got the same number so that's why we 135 is also a desired number right so this is the logic to find the desirium number whether the number is a desirium or not right so once again desirium number means so the sum of digits raised to the powers of their respective positions is equal to the given number then we call it as a desirium number right so you you can use a, one more way uh, without using this while loop you can convert the integer into a string and you can find the length okay you can find the length and the rest of the things are equal right so hope you understood this one and if you are having this uh, any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much